So let's go through um, what's on canvas already. Uh, this is my screen, so you might not see the other side of things. Um, but um, so this is the table of content. So everything that is in this home page is obviously important. That's why I put it in the home page. And I hope that you would, you know, sometimes refer to it because might be some of the stuff are not making sense to you or not as important to you right at this point. But I think during the class, um, there will be times that you might want to revisit. So um, uh, the video will be posted here. And then uh, these are the links that I think uh, you might need to visit often. Uh, modules actually also in the sidebar. So um, but the video lecture and the syllabus, um, this it uh, is different from this one. So um, I think it will be useful for you. That's why I put it like way above. And you can actually use this table of content to go to each session of um, this page. So this is done by HTML. If you know what, what it is, um, it's uh, handy to know HTML. So this is my information. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn or Medium. Um, I haven't published for a while, but I will. Uh, Zoom for office hour. So if you have any questions, I really encourage you to come to my office hours. And 6 to 6.30 is just a time I put there. So if there are more people who come in, um, I would definitely try to answer all your questions and help you out. I think it's very important to... Mm, under the, understand the concepts well right from the beginning because it's going to snowball if you don't understand the first chapter second chapter will, will be harder and third chapter it will be almost impossible so um another thing that you can con another way you can contact me is through inbox i would try to reply within 24 hours if you email me on Monday through Friday. So I can't guarantee on Saturday and Sunday. And so it's good to start your homework. And if you have any questions, come on Thursday to ask questions or email me. Inbox is what I meant here. So I try to centralize all the communication with you, at least official communications through inbox. The rhythm, um, I thought it's good to, for you to know that I will always publish all the material for this week by Tuesday. And homework's due Sunday at 6 p.m. My professor used to have, you know, all this computer science homework are all due on Sunday um, midnight. Um, I don't think it's very good for, for you. I, that's just my opinion. So since now I'm teaching, I change it to 6 p.m. So 6 p.m., you... Finish your homework and then you can enjoy the rest of the Sunday. And you can expect to see in each module there will be reading assignment, there will be video lectures, PowerPoints, and then then you know after you do do all this, it's time to quiz yourself. The quiz is not really to per se test you, the quiz is really to help you to master the information so that you get to use what you've learned and also kind of uh, review and remember the concepts because I think um, once you remember it, it's so much easier for you to program than to go and look back in, in your textbook and so on. Sometimes you will need to do it, but the less you have to do it, the faster you can program. And then there will be a homework assignment and occasionally there will be bonus assignments. The textbook, um, Officially, it's just one. So the class is designed around this textbook. You could potentially find the textbook in some way. Um, anyways, um, but you can also f use alternative books if you want to. So I thought it would be good to talk about the tricks because after teaching for this class a few times, I think, um, and, and also, you know, I was a student in this class apparently, I th was thinking to share how you can be successful in this class. I mean, definitely programming is something that you need to, I mean, every class you have to work hard, right? Um, I mean, there is some thinking that this is a harder class than other classes. Well, I think it depends, right? If this is your interest and, and uh, not that you're made for it, but then there are 
some people who are more natural at it, but doesn't mean that natural is the only ingredient to be successful because persistence is also an ingredient for success. So some people can be very talented, but then if they don't pay attention or you know don't commit themselves to doing a good job, it it's no different. So the tricks. I highly recommend reading the book, understanding the the uh, material, the programs inside the book,、uh, and maybe do a little bit of their exercise even in the book before watching the videos. I think that highly increase、um, your retention of the material. Not that you. Can't reverse it. You can actually watch the video first and then read it. And some people don't even read it, but I think you would be so much more efficient to it to be to be writing programs if you read the book first. And then it's always good to practice. So just passively watching the videos, passively reading the book. It's not going to help you unless you go and write the programs, and um, so um, I highly recommend that while you're watching the videos, you can also type in your program and see how it runs. And if you make you know any mistakes, you can correct it. Those are good exercise for you to actually learn how a program works and so on. And also, I would have the demo programs. Downloadable in the file session, so it's also a good idea to download them and play with them and see, you know, how it, how it works. You change it a little bit, see how it behaves. That's how you can learn to be a good programmer.、Um, set your own pace watching the video. So, for some of you, maybe the videos are too slow,、um, because you might have previous experience programming already. You can always always change the video to make it faster, and the, there's a video speed,、um, like setting in YouTube. But also, if you feel like it's too fast, you can make me speak slower, and also you can、um, stop the video when you have doubts, and you can go and check different resources to try to understand the concept and so on. The po- the PowerPoint slides are in. The uh down like files sessions also and also like in each module I will link to those files. And then so after watching the videos, after reading, after experimenting with the programs, I will go and do the quiz, um because that way you get to review the concepts, you get to um check if your concepts are correct, you get to. Kind of help you to recall the concepts, um. So, and then of course you would you know start do the doing the lab assignment. I I suppose, I would actually try to start small. So sometimes like I think for smaller program is okay, but if you are dealing with a bigger assignment, you might want to test out small bit of your program before putting it. Into your big program. So, for example, if you want to see how for loop works before you put the for loop into your big program, I would actually go into the two different,、um, basically online、um, uh, compiler, C plus plus compiler that we introduced.、Uh, so here is、uh, one of the links, and I should actually put the other one in here also. So I would test those small piece of code before I put it into big program. So, apparently, programmers get stuck fixing bugs. You know, you your program is not working as expected.、Um, you don't know why, and it might take you very short to figure it out. But it can take you a long time. My best strategy actually is to take a break, take a deep breath, take a break, go do something else, and come back. And so, don't get frustrated. I mean, everyone has to go through. This no matter how good you are as a programmer, you would always have to, always have time that you would need to debug and find problems. And but if you are really struggling, you couldn't figure it out. You can also inbox me and、uh, with the C dot C P P file 
or right now I think the first module is a link. You can send it to me and ask me questions. I have to be able to run your program to see how to help you. Okay. But but do your own work. So don't expect other people to do your work. You have to do your own work. You can't go get paid as a programmer and then ask other people to do your work, okay? And program consciously. I think this is actually one of the most important things that I learned when I was thinking the C++ class. Um, my my instructor, my, my professor was just telling us that, you know, just don't write the bugs into the program. So I think what he means is that when you write the program, write very, very carefully, like being very conscious of everything you type into the program. I actually think that being a good programmer means you have to be able to be in a meditative state. You are one minded doing the programming. Actually, when I teach a live class, I actually teach my program, like my my students to um, meditate. Because being able to manage your thoughts, basically. Okay, this is actually my thing, okay, about thoughts and emotions and stuff. So what I'm trying to say is really try to be focused on what you are doing and not be distracted, not let your mind go anywhere else, but think about this thing that you are doing and you would find that you would be able to do it. I think a lot of people... Um, feel like oh I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough and stuff like that no I actually think that what it is is that if you don't keep track of your mind and not focus on what you do and you're doubting yourself the brain power that you need to be using to program well is being used in something that's not productive so program consciously and lastly get help as soon as possible if you find yourself not being able to to finish the assignments and ha- or have a lot of problems and so on. Um, I have not so far find anyone who have missed a few assignments able to catch up. So if you the first assignment you can't figure it out, you have to start like not start. You have to go get help right away. I mean I am your help. There are other resources you can get help with also. But what I'm saying is really be mindful that if you are facing problems, don't hesitate to get help. We all have to go through this struggle when we learn something new. So it's not like you are the only one. So don't hesitate to ask for help. So that's why we are talking about help the next session. So other help in this course material. So um, actually you can uh, go to NetTutor, which, um, which is a link in the, in the side, which I don't know where it went, but it will be there. Um, so NetTutor is a resources that you can ask questions. Um, it, it is a, a, basically service provided and SJCC has um, recruited this this um, thing. Um, I think it, it, the in-person tutoring on main campus is not there anymore, but they do have an online tu- tutoring. But I point to this page, hoping that we can get out of the uh, SIP soon, right? So we, we try to stay positive. Um, but if you need help, that's also online uh, tutoring that you might be able to, to tap into to get help besides asking me. Um, I think the consular um, information, I actually have it in the um, here. So um, you can get that from the link here. Um, you might have help, like you, you might need help with Canvas and my web and email account so on and so forth. I actually couldn't help you on that one. And so you have to click this link and find the resources to help you with um, those um, those things. Okay. Then there will be financial aid, there will be counseling. I think SGCC is really, our school is really doing a fantastic job in trying to help um, our students to deal with any um, situations if that arise. So if you have anything that um, your 
if if you need financial help, it doesn't have. To, I mean, financial aid doesn't have to tie to your academic performance. Okay, so if you are having problem financially, please、um, go to these resources and、um, contact、um, contact our our financial aid personnel to get help. Because we all want you to be successful. That's why we are here. So don't hesitate. When the resources are there, just just get the help. Because you know, take care of yourself, and you can take care of other people, right? Um, counseling is another thing. If you feel like emotionally you are stressed, or um, you don't know what to do with your classes, or you know, what's the best path to a certain career path, um, we have this counseling department, and so don't hesitate to. Get help from by calling and so on. And then SJCC library, of course, I love libraries. I don't know about you. Um, I guess I should actually look at the syllabus with you. So um, all this information, some of them are already there. Um, student learning um outcome wasn't there, job and uh, and withdrawal. Um, I think those you can read. Um, the grading is very simple. Um, I try to make this class easy to get an A per se. Okay, you have to do your work. I mean, it's easy in in a way that if you do the work, if you read, if you really spend the hours doing the studying, then you can. Everyone can get an A. So I didn't do a curve. I actually do a percentage, and there will be a lot of bonus assignments as well for people who like challenges. Um, late submission. So so far, I haven't seen anyone who can be late and catch up, and so I'm very straight on making sure that I get the assignments on time, unless you have a very very good reason. Otherwise, um. Your late assignment. If it's past Wednesday, it wouldn't be great. Basically, you can be late one or two days, but to be honest, it's actually best for you to not be late because,、um, why I have the class start on Tuesday is because it will give me time to look at all your assignments, see what kind of common problems that you all are maybe having, like making basically, and try to resolve them with you in the next. Beginning of the next module. The next topic is also very important: the、um, academic dishonesty penalties. So,、um, interestingly,、um, people seem to do this, and also interestingly, I'm very good at catching it. So, I highly not recommend you to be dishonest because I, I totally will、um, make sure that. Um, your assignment will get zero points, and also your course grade will be lowered. I don't know about by how much, but definitely will be lowered.、Um, this is an interest interesting topic because I personally is a pretty honest person.、Um, I think、um, there's really no reason to to copy other people because、um, if you have to copy in this class. I really don't know how you can go to work in a job, and if you have difficulties, like I said, there are a lot of resources, and so、um, please don't do it. Basically, I won't be of、uh, personally of offended actually, but I want to、um, really tell you upfront that、um, I actually read your programs, and that's why it's very easy for me to catch. Whoever is copying from other people, copying from the internet, so on and so forth. Not that I'm giving you the ideas, but trust me, please don't do that. So, uh, the lab assignments. I think um, this is pretty straightforward. Student conduct, sexual harassment. So you know, it's very straightforward. Respect other people. Respect other people like you want to be respected, basically, right. Um, there's no. I mean, I mean,、um, everyone is equal in this world, I- including me and you. We we are kind of in a way we are equal, 
um, but in a way I have to implement all these rules and stuff so that you can learn efficiently. Actually, a lot of these rules, um, for example, the, the assignment due date and so on and so forth, if, if it can help you to succeed, I can relax it. But the reality is so far I haven't seen uh, that to be an effective policy to help students. So, so that's why um, I, I highly discourage being late um, to assignments. Uh, and then the course outline. So if you are eager to read all the the textbook, like um, you know, knowing what's going on, um, this is the plan for the whole semester. Um, of course, it's subject subject to change, but uh, most likely, the at least the topics will be flowing this way. Um, there's good reason for for the class to flow this way. I hope um, those information that we talk about that's already in the homepage are helpful to you to go through. Um, I think it's time for you to jump in and swim and see what happens. All right, I will see you around.